Hello everyone, welcome to this update's video this morning. I hope you're doing good. Now, we're going to be looking at what's happening across the Atlantic as usual, but uh, later in the video, we'll be taking a look at what models have to show for April as it relates to precipitation forecast for the Caribbean. So, is there going to be above average rain, below average rain? normal rain we're going to be getting into it now we can see all this activity which is ahead of a frontal system making its way through the area and uh, moving out to the east but as we zoom into the caribbean or as we take a closer look here much is not really happening at all so a beautiful morning across most islands even towards central america as well nothing crazy really going on right now now let's go on to the rainfall forecast from Euro and here we can see it. We're seeing that this map is getting a little bit more colorful for parts of the Northern Caribbean, which is indicative of more rainfall activity uh, within some areas. So some areas may receive some substantial downpours and uh, that would include parts of Hispaniola, especially the Dominican Republic, as well as Puerto Rico. But other surrounding areas, such as the Lesser Antilles, maybe from around Martinique, northward through Anguilla, the Virgin Islands, and even near the uh, Turks and Caicos Islands, parts of eastern Cuba and sections of Jamaica as well, may receive some rain. So that is not guaranteed for everyone. Some areas may get a downpour today, others may remain hot and dry. But uh, looking to the Southeast Islands, going to the ABC Islands, the Windward Islands as well, much is not really expected today. Cayman Islands, uh, Central and Western Cuba, most of the Bahamas, parts of Florida, similar story. And then over to Central America, we see it yet again, not much color on the map, but there could be some showers popping up here and there, especially near the Pacific coast of some of these territories. South America, Colombia, as we know, remains active thanks to its location. And there may be some showers moving by parts of Venezuela and the Guyanas. Now let's go on to the wind forecast for today. So the more purple and blue shadings we start to see, that is indicating those stronger winds. And uh, let's take a look at what Euro has to show. So we can see that the Caribbean is not so windy. Yes, maybe a little bit breezy over in the east and for parts of the northern islands. Uh, also over in the northwest offshore of the Yucatan as well. We can see some of those blue shadings popping up for later this evening. But elsewhere across the region should be a bit on the calm side. Nothing crazy happening. And uh, with that said, seas are also pretty calm out there. So this is a look at the significant wave height forecast. Very active offshore of the U.S. with that low pressure system. And in the Gulf as well, uh, pretty unsettled near parts of the northern Gulf Coast. But then as we look at the Caribbean, uh, we can see that it's mostly these blue shadings, so it's not too active out there. However, as we head into uh, tomorrow, we can see that for the outermost Bahamian Island, as well as in parts of the Northwest Caribbean, uh, it will be a little bit more unsettled within those areas. Elsewhere should be calm. Now, as I mentioned, we will be taking a look at the rainfall forecast for April. So we'll be going on to three models. First up, we have the NMME. And there we can see valid for April 2024. Now the green shadings indicate above average rain. Meanwhile, the yellows indicate below average rain. As we're going to be heading into April, we can see that this model is showing that some of the eastern islands, also for parts of northern South America, Central America, are within that green shading. So there may be above average rain in those areas, maybe a little bit more rainfall than normal. Elsewhere, we're not seeing much shading, so things could be pretty much normal. It may be a typical April for most other areas. Next, there's the CANSIPS model. CANSIPS is also agreeing on a potential increase in rainfall activity for some of the eastern islands, Lesser Antilles, parts of Venezuela, Colombia, Panama as well. But take a look at this. We're seeing this yellow shading across parts of the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, Cuba, Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, in Central America as well. And then the climate forecast system is showing some stronger yellow. So it could be a little bit drier than normal throughout most of the Caribbean based on what this model is showing. But we see that it is in agreement with the other two about the above average rain in the east. That remains consistent among them, but in terms of the rest of the region and potentially above or below average rainfall, we can see a bit of variation there. So overall, as I said, in the Lesser Antilles, parts of the Lesser Antilles, there could be a bit more rain than normal, but elsewhere in the Caribbean may experience normal to drier conditions. But it is important to understand that 
Yes, your area may be highlighted for above or below average rain, maybe it's not shaded at all, but for areas expected to receive above average rain, it doesn't mean every day of April you are going to get rain. It simply means the total rainfall accumulation for the month could actually be a bit more than what is typical or average around this time of year. Likewise, for areas highlighted within that yellow shade for potentially below average rain, it doesn't mean that you will get no rain at all throughout the month of April. I mean, it could mean that, especially if you live on an island that is pretty dry and there is like a very few number of days where you typically get some rainfall in April. So it could mean that for you. It depends on the rainfall average for your area, but it means that there could be less rainfall than what is typical for the time of year for you. And April marks the transitional point between the dry and the wet season. And exactly that, we're going to be having a wet or wet season in parts of the Caribbean, as I mentioned in yesterday's video. I covered that, so you can go ahead and take a look at it. But overall, uh, for April, again, there could be above average rain in the east and normal to drier conditions elsewhere in the region. But of course, regardless of what is expected, I'll be keeping you guys posted with updates videos every day as I have been doing. And that is pretty much it for this video. So I hope that you found it to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I can. And remember to always be weather wise.